Hello, and a very warm welcome to this podcast series, when we're going to look at particular phrases, common phrases in English that include prepositions. Now, prepositions are an area where second language students often make mistakes because we have lots and lots of prepositions. And usually these little short words have several meanings. We can use them in different ways. And quite a lot of prepositions can also be used as adverbs or conjunctions as well. So it makes this whole area of prepositions really quite confusing. And in English, we have a lot of common phrases that either start with or use somewhere in the phrase a preposition. So that's what we're going to look at in this series. You will probably have heard of quite a lot of these phrases, but maybe you're not really sure of what they mean, or if you are, of how we really use them correctly in sentences in our conversations. So hopefully by the end of the 10 episodes in this series, you will be more aware of that, and you'll be able to use lots of these phrases much more confidently in your conversations. Okay, right, we're going to start with phrases that use the word as at the beginning of the phrase. And we've got really quite a lot of these. So in this one, we're going to do several. And then in the next episode, we'll continue with as phrases and we'll do some more. Right, our first one is as a result, as a result. Now, I'm sure you've heard of that before. So we use this when we are saying therefore or as a consequence. So we might say she studied very hard and as a result, she passed the exam. Or he worked very hard and as a result of that, he got a promotion. So it's something that is a, a consequence of our actions as a result. Our next one is as a matter of course. And we use this to mean automatically. So I think I should get that promotion as a matter of course. So this means that I think that I'm the next in line. So it shouldn't really be even considered. I should automatically get that post, something like that. So that's how we use that one to mean automatically. Our next one is as an aside. And this may, maybe is not used as commonly as some of the others, but it means by the way. So if we maybe say, I think Tom Hanks is a great actor. And uh, oh, as an aside, did you see that film, Captain Phillips? So as you can see in that Clintons, it's sort of meaning by the way. So as an aside, another as phrase that you can use in your conversations. As it happens, as it happens. And this one we use when we're quite surprised about something. So it sort of means we usually put it maybe at the start of the sentence um, uh, quite often. And it would mean surprisingly. So as it happens, I got that promotion at work. So now this case, not like the last one when I was saying I need it automatically as a matter of course, this one, I'm quite surprised. I didn't think I would get that. So as it happens, my son passed the exam. So I'm saying there, he didn't really work very hard. He didn't particularly know the subject, but he still passed his exam. Good on him. Okay, that brings us to the end of our first episode. We're going to do more as phrases in the next time. So just to recap for this one, as a result, meaning therefore, as a matter of course, automatically, as an aside, by the way, and as it happens, surprisingly.